Hello guys and welcome back to Play of the J here. We're going to bring to you the last round of the evening for the Battle Arena scrim. So uh, while we were on the break here, um, I just want to give a big shout out to Han Wing who gave another two lots of uh, 95 stars each. You're the man. Thank you so much for all the support, bro. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks, Joe, for the, the kind words. Do appreciate it as well. Uh, nice to know. Have a lot of fans out there. Um, so anyways, uh, thanks as well to everyone who's uh, helped to share out the stream and give it a like. Really do appreciate all the support. And uh, looking forward to getting into this uh, very last game, guys. Um, so we will be playing again on Miramar here. So uh, this we already seen um, three games already. Uh, first game uh, went to... Um, there was, game 2 went to Team Suicide. Um, game... Game three went to six gaming, and uh, and model esport did come away with um, the first win of the of the evening. Apologies for <laughs> not being able to remember spontaneously, guys. I've been casting quite a number of. Uh, scrims and uh, other tournaments lately so uh, i did cast also the battle arena scrims uh yesterday uh and also over the weekend i was casting the pubg malaysia singapore championship uh qualifiers number one and uh yeah um so i think the rest of the schedule for this week is uh I, i'm still going to be casting um the scrim city games on thursday and then come back to Saturday, Sunday, We I will be casting again the PUBG Malaysian Singapore Championship 2018 qualifiers. That is going to be for qualifiers number two. So make sure that your team is signed up or you have your details ready for whichever qualifier that you'll be going for. So anyways, into this next game here. As uh, we do see that um, it is going to be from the western side all the way to the eastern edge over here. And um, we see a lot of teams opting to drop early here. Now, this is going to be a mixture of teams here. Brasatu Powerhouse, um, Bun Bungie, Bungie Nun Gaming, uh, Team 1. We're going to have um, FFG. And uh, looks like we have uh, DT... Uh, D our, our team that's occupying the 19th slot is DTYZ. So DTYZ will be um, in that t uh, squad squad number they were playing last game as well apologies i wasn't able to uh call them out i think uh didn't get them or didn't read my personal message in time here now we will see that uh red sea will be going for power grid they do like to go there um and picado is going to be occupied by qwerty here and uh el pozo will be shared by dtyz and um the members from uh, Bajinan gaming um now elsewhere in los leones um i think it's uh this is going to be the team members from uh, model, uh, model Esport. And ooh, it shifts all the way to the southwest side here. So that's going to be um, very interesting. Most of the teams are currently not inside the zone at all. And um, it's going to make for some awkward rotations here. As now we see a lot of these teams going for those uh, runs for the vehicles here. As we see ZMSFY we will cut off Abang Long. He's going to knock him over a little bit here, but uh, he's going to have to try and get onto the rocks here as uh, he's going to face some problems here. But it looks like his teammate Rapid Star goes down to Jacob uh, here and uh, looks like the vehicle might get stuck here by ZMSFY in the efforts to try and get Abang Long. Now he will be getting onto the further high ground here and avoiding any further complications. Now other, elsewhere, we see a lot of the teams on the move here, but now it looks as though Taicho for uh, DTYZ is going to put some pressure onto uh, Bursatu Powerhouse and prevent Abang Long from uh, being run over because he wants to shoot him in the head instead. Uh, of course, he doesn't have any armor whatsoever and it uh, looks like ZMSFY is not going to stop just yet here as he keeps making the rounds here. Abang Long taking now some damage from Taicho and uh, now ZMSFY coming in for the kill again. It feels as though that we're watching a Matador fight at the moment, guys. Um, but yeah, ZMSFY, you're going to go back up here, but it is going to be a little bit awkward. So good play from Abang Long to prolong that uh, potential uh, death there. 
and uh, now we are, we see that um, others from uh, Bursatu Powerhouse are engaging with the rest of uh, team member of the team members from Bungie Nan Gaming here as Fearflux enters the building here as he looks to get the drop onto these players here as he moves into the factory warehouse floor here able to spot Pebbles but uh, not able to kill him and uh, looks like Fearflux will be going out here so Bungie Nan going to be reduced in squad strength here and uh, looks like Modi here will be trying to fend off Taicho as Taicho now is set his sights uh, further inland as he looks to complete his looting phase. But Mahdi will be uh, looking to get a little bit of a drop here. Now we do see that there is quite a bit of a spread of teams here. Now I hope these guys have managed to secure their vehicles because it's going to be very crucial uh, for them to actually get through um, into the new zone. Now I'm Coldblood and the rest of uh, or some of six gaming here uh, already moving down early here as they look to continue their strong performance They did take the chicken dinner in the last round guys after they were able to control this compound very expertly and uh, Well have the most of the 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 trouble is actually getting into that position Which they moved along the edge of the circle and pushed away the challenge from these other teams But now Mahdi is still very much occupying this region over here as he looks to try and um, surprise Taicho as he comes out here, KNY God and uh, Abang Long are in close proximity here. So Keeks getting on the board here as um, he starts to engage together with the rest of MBT. But well, at least until they can steal the vehicle and there goes the, the horning there. So Crown TV not able to answer to the challenge just yet as MBT uh, decides to bug out of here. And Nobby will be leading the way ferrying Asmix to boot as well. So oh, we also see some other rotations coming in here. This time past uh, feed and feed. Uh, looks like Shazwan uh, going to have to duke it out with uh, Vine here. As Vine going to try and stop him from taking that vehicle that they need desperately here. Shazwan takes a, a hit in the head here, but uh, he's going to still get away just fine. And uh, looks like uh, a little bit of mobility going to be taken away from them. Unless they can get a little few more shots here. But Vine not able to come out with another connection there. And now we do see that uh, they have managed to meet up with the rest of FFG. They all have vehicles to their name. Really able to spread the risk here later on. But Taicho is still looting here by his lonesome. And uh, it could turn very bad here as uh, the other members from Bajinan Gaming here have managed to meet up here and uh, might be trying to catch him out. Modi is still very much uh, watching that uh, alleyway in case uh, Taicho does make a move there. But I think they're going to stay put for the time being as Taicho has not finished looting up this zone just yet. But also in El Pozo, we have Bursatu Powerhouse. Now, Blue Zone is about to creep in, guys. So other teams are already in rotation. Dream Team is moving in uh, as we do see uh, Team Suicide here. They did win round number two. And MBT also has four vehicles as well. So they're going to move in here. But let's see whether Allens is going to try and uh, uh, shoot down some of these players here. As uh, Team Suicide takes a few hits from him. Uh, Don Pablo able to get away um, but taking quite a bit of damage there. And uh, he actually has a little bit of a fender bender on the on the bridge here but alan sees a number of uh vehicles all coming through here so he's going to position himself very carefully as he prevents further hits but rexa takes a, a hit from the m4 over there and alice tries to Put the finishing touches he's trying to blow up the vehicle but he manages to get rex in and uh he goes down peaks is uh also there in the background here alan's gonna try and uh put some fire with his mini 14 he's gonna confirm the kill on rexon as mbt decides to bug out but it looks like asmix gonna get caught on the hill here and he's not able to move any further with that buggy but alan's is all here by himself so he's gonna have to play this carefully he moves back towards the building for a little bit more hard cover but now we see that red sea is going to rotate here through the Monte Nuevo uh, highway here and uh, Feta Crofts here going to try and put some shots and uh, Carex also uh, doing the same thing and uh, looks like NRL uh, should be okay. Papa Zayat actually hitting the electrical post here but he should be okay and uh, now we will be seeing team one here. Oh Papa Zayat was uh, sniped out of the car here and uh, he's going to be finished off here by Feta Crofts here. And uh, the rest of Red Sea getting disembarking except for Rain Zera. He's still in the distance and still taking a lot of fire. So John C. Nobody really able to put up a lot of pressure on the high ground over there. But Yez able to, to get the drop onto Mahdi here as um, these uh, two teams here are converging. Uh, DTYZ here um, duking it out with the... Uh, oh, Abang Long going down to Zrocco now. 
So DTYZ looking pretty good here as uh, they managed to reduce the squad strength of um, of Bungie Nun Gaming here down to KNY God only. But now it looks like the, the team members from Bursatu Powerhouse here are currently trying to get some good vision here. Zero Fragger won't be able to see Yaze just yet as he's currently blocked by the, the um, metal... What is that called? A shaft? Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter, guys, as we see rotation coming in here as um, all four members of uh, Team AG uh, really taking a risk here, driving through Picado here, uh, luckily able to escape the wrath of uh, Team QWERTY here. But now it looks like uh, here in the Minas Anorales area, we see that uh, Potato Mo able to get a knock and uh, a kill onto Team Koyak, who now only have uh, Excel Jack. Yeah, excellent Jack, I'm going to call him that. And uh, Potato Mo able to get the shot through the building there, as uh, that's going to be it for Koyak Gaming. They go out in 20th position here in this game. Now, others are on the move here, but in El Pozo, things are still very dicey here, as um, Bursatu Powerhouse is currently making things difficult for any disengagement by DTYZ. Yaze is still on the, the top of the motel here, and uh, trying to just spot out where the players are coming from. From the uh, Bursatu powerhouse now, Zero Fragger able to get some nice shots from the the high ground here, but he's going to move to a different window, see whether he can get a better angle here. Uh, don't think he has any nades at his disposal, or he's uh, used them all. KNY God has disengaged from this as he's the lone member for uh, Bungie Nun Gaming, and he will try and bug out as best that he can. Now Sorako and Yez are still very much there, but Yez going to try and get out here, but he gets picked off as he gets up. And that's going to be it for his game. Now, DTYZ is going to be reduced down to um, the one player of Zrocco left remaining here. Now, he's going to try and take it easy here. KNY God is going to try and wait for these guys to actually make their move as they all have to rotate right past him. Now, he's going to try and avenge his team members. Now, he spots Zero Fragger. He's putting up some shots with his Mini-14, but not able to get any connections on Zero Fragger as he goes back down into the building here. Now... Uh, undisputed, going to have to move over from the Minas Generales area, and uh, now we see that the, the implications of actually shooting on these rotating teams, as uh, we see Team AG trying to put some pressure back onto Team QWERTY, as they are still in Picado, and they all have to start moving uh, in the near future here, as the circle is not likely to still have them in scope. Now, others are also uh, making their way over. We see Rixis, and I think this is uh, Quack Jr. here. Yeah, Rixis and Quack Jr. are making their way over through the zone here, and uh, should be looking to try and find a decent compound, but Asmix and uh, MBT uh, might have uh, a say in this if they can get out to the main road here, as um, they look to try and uh, get some connections if they can, but I think given the angle and the and the topography here. They are not able to get it, but it looks as though that they are stopping by here. So Keeks will have good view, but looks like Skip goes down first, and he's able to knock down uh, Rixis here, but it looks like um, Croft Razan here able to do his thing as Asmix comes around the side here with the Vector here, but Nobby will come to the rescue here as he knocks down the player here. And oh, he gets a, a team kill onto Asmix here, um, but should be okay as he looks to get him up ASAP. Now, um, there is still uh, I cry Sim here, who's trying to come and support his team members here. Currently, there's a lot of uh, injured players here for MBT, but don't think he's going to be able to, to stop that one from happening. Circle has revealed itself, is going to shift uh, a little bit further north here as it covers a lot of landmass over here. Not going to have any shenanigans with uh, trying to rotate uh, through the... or across the, the river, or channel rather okay channel is probably the better word here but now we see rave child here uh gonna have a little bit of indication that undisputed is over here oh but it looks as though srocko able to come out big and able to eliminate the two members of Bursatsu powerhouse um all the way in el Pozo. so they are fighting in the blue guys and uh oh it looks as though rave child gonna be in uh very very close distance here if he has a nade that would be fantastic but srocko eliminates himself with his nade uh Okay, um, well done for the double kill, but yeah. Oh, looks like Sako goes down for Rave by Rave Chow here. And uh, Xaviero is going to go down here as well. But um, looks as though he, Rave Chow is just absolutely surrounded by Undisputed here. And they're not going to take any prisoners here. But now we see that FFG here um, 
going to shoot at Dream Team as they start to advance up the hill here. And uh, they have a nice, uh, nice angles over here. But now we see that Dream Team has uh, started to establish themselves. Emandu going to try and go for blowing on the vehicle, but Savior has enough coverage. But Allens knocks himself over with the the vehicle there. I think it it rolled back into him, and uh, that takes him out. But Shaz1 and Emandu are down right now. Xvert is the last player up for uh, FFG, and he has a Graza at his uh, disposal here, so he could come out with it. But he's deploying whatever grenades that he can to try and slow this push coming in from Dream Team. And uh, he's going to try and get his team member up here, uh, but he gets spotted by a Sly DD and not able to respond in time. So he goes down. Now Red Sea will be duking it out here uh, with the... Uh, Team members from Feed and Feed here as Haha Goose goes down here. Now, um, looks like Rain Zera and, and NRL gonna have to try to do the best that they can here as uh, Rain Zera has them posted at the moment. But it looks like Feed feed and Feed here backing out a little bit and Brennan's gonna get shot in the back here by Rain Zera as he pops out the other side of the window. So he's gonna get that confirmed kill. NRL moves around the other side here to get the flanking shots here and Jumbo. Uh, in trying to put up some shots he takes a lot of damage but able to come out with it in the end and now Hakagus is down as well and leaving Le only Rain Zera left here as he tries to heal up so he can join back the fight and uh, try and avenge his teammates deaths um, but uh, he has managed to get down Brax in that exchange here and uh, now he has to be a little bit mindful of what of the positions around him as uh, currently they do know where his position is as Brax would have relayed that information to him but now Vine just trying to get good vision through the window here as he tries to get the shot onto Rain Zara. Rain Zara moving downstairs a little bit here as uh, he looks to try and get the nade off onto Brax here. Um, he is nading the, the wrong window here and won't be able to get that confirmed kill but he is going to lick his wounds for the time being here while things develop. But now we already see Dream Team here not only uh, having finish or uh, only having finish uh, FFG off, they are engaged together with Drink Coffee First. So Drink Coffee First have been showing some good results uh, this evening. They did get um, second place in the, the second round, uh, able to take on uh, or rather going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Team Suicide here. And speaking of Team Suicide, they are all the way over here, and now the circle has shifted all the way to the north here. So that's going to make it increasingly difficult for these players to actually uh, get through. And uh, now we will be seeing uh, oh, further engagement here around the Picado side, which uh, is still very much in. Dick Gina not able to connect enough with the six time scope over there as he tries to prevent uh, Kalon from getting Xaviero up for Undisputed. But Undisputed, I think. Uh, only down or down to these last two players here after uh, something happened. I think maybe they had uh, earlier fracas with uh, the rest of uh, Team AG as they tried to avenge their team member's death uh, in that four-on-one battle that we saw. But now they are getting the, the heels off. Dick Gina will be going around the side here and looking to get... Um, a good flank off here, but he is priming the nade here, and the, the flashbang does go off. It looks like it will be effective here, as Kalon has no idea what's going on here as he pops around the corner, but he reloads at the wrong moment here, but he's still able to come up with it. So Dick Gina getting a double kill there as he finishes off Undisputed. But now we see Drink Coffee first here, trying to shoot at the rotation coming out from Elias Revenge or uh, Mix Team. I'm, I'm not sure. I think uh, might be some random players here going in for a squad 18. So now they are just going to hold up in that compound after they have successfully rotated. But they're um, still going to have to do further rotations as they're not really inside the zone just yet. And uh, now we will be seeing also some others here. Um, yeah, we will be seeing some other movements out here. So yeah, just a shout out for uh, Sian Shern. So, uh, so that's a shout out from uh, Shamil Jahari. So uh Hope you're having a good game. I'm not sure what your IGN is going to be here if you are in the game. So uh, yeah, can clarify further, uh, Shamil. Uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, uh, we are looking at uh, these teams further congesting this zone as uh, they are starting to get a lot of teams moving in from the south here. But now the mixed team of squad 18 is uh, under a little bit of pressure after one of their players going down here. But now Team AG is re uh, or rather starting their engagement with uh, Team QWERTY as uh, they're already semi inside the zone here. Uh, semi uh, QWERTY might have a little bit more problems trying to cross over this terrain should the, the circle shift not be in their favor later on here. Uh, but now 
and uh, we do actually see that uh, others are making their way here uh, for the the southern part of the zone here but now dream team here is trying to make things uh yeah is trying to make things as as difficult as possible here as uh alan's here putting up some uh long range shots he's taking a bit more uh hits than he would like so he's going to back off for the time being as they do have a good position inside and right now we just see that drink coffee first here is not really inside the zone just yet and uh that's going to probably be a little bit problematic for them as they look to get in here but, but now Rosak D is inside here, but Sly D, D, and the rest are going to put the hurt on. Darkus goes down here as uh, the Nas Gaming here thwarting that as he looks to claim those two kills onto uh, the Drink Coffee first, guys, as his mix team claims those kills. But he looks like he's in a bad position at the moment and he might likely expire here. Now we see that the circle is going to center around here. Rain Zero has managed to disengage from feed and feed here, luckily. And... Um, He's going to be very much in position here. Now, Rosak D able to finish off uh, the Nest Gaming here. And uh, I think uh, the rest of his mixed team are actually over here. So, a little bit disjointed here. And now we see Dreams and the rest of uh, Team AG here returning fire now onto uh, Model Esport, onto the, on the high ground as they try and uh, exert their influence here. They don't have far to go into the circle here. We see Suicide Squad uh, already moving in as well here, but they're facing a lot of pressure. From the team members of Feed and Fee, they have an AWM at their disposal, but they might not. Oh, Vine able to to get that knock with the AWM here, and now he's gonna try and see whether he can spot ganks as well. Supak Choi a little bit further down the hill, not able to pop up over the top and so give that support. Looks like KNY God will be going out here as uh, the rest of Bunging Nut Gaming are finished going out in 13th position so still 34 players and 12 teams alive here in this stage of the game guys so now dream team is on their uh, massive rotation here as they try to go past um the suicide squad guys now we see uh feta crofts here uh trying to look cover this zone for team one and uh now looks like the graza is coming to play here as uh i think savior is the one with the graza here and now looks like don pablo is down still at the moment here and uh vine and the rest of um uh, feed and feed arm on the move over here as mix will finish off uh, legendary six and that's going to be it for the uh mixed team team 18 but now the flank is coming out here brax and the rest of uh Feed and feed here are coming around, but they don't expect six gaming here. And I'm Cold Blood is raining down hell onto them as he knocks down uh, Jubo, and he's gonna spray down Supok Choi and not able to get ganks before Vine gets the headshot with the AWM. He's almost finished off here, but luckily he's uh, still in a decent position. But Vine gonna try and exert as much pressure as he can. But now Allen's and the rest of uh, Dream Team making things incredibly difficult as they are all shooting from the high ground. Now, they will prioritize getting their team member up here as Savior will be uh, getting Hikaxi back up. And they are still four men strong here, so looking pretty good from them. Uh, I think there is only other four man squad here of uh, the Model Esport guys. Uh, they are currently trying to engage with MBT. Whiskey getting knocked down there at range by Asmix there as he tries to push the torch for MBT. But now um, it should be able to be successful this uh, res here as we see that um, the two players from Feed and Feed have decided to retreat back towards the, the compound here as they try to prevent being a third party by a dream team while they're trying to engage with the last members of uh, Suicide Squad. But Suicide Squad have managed to get their players up here. Uh, but now, looks like Allens and the rest of his team are going to try and advance further into the circle here. The blue zone is on their back here. Savior is just going to boost up a little bit here. They have eight kills already to their name. The Vine in clear view of Sly DD here. But Supak Choi going to get mowed down here by the Graza as Ganks also comes and he gets taken down. Don Pablo, last player left up here and Allens will be able to finish him off. So that's it for Team Suicide here. But now it looks as though the squeeze is coming onto MBT here as we see the push here coming from the Model Esports and Geeks and Nobby. Gonna do the best they can. They knocked down one of the players already here, but the flank is coming in from Whiskey here as he is moving around the left side here. Not able to see it, just there, the the movement coming out from Nobby here. 
but he hears him and he's going to try and counter the flank here by moving further along the left side and uh, try and see whether he can get the silhouette here as uh, they put the squeeze on here. It's looking like a very precarious position here now as uh, Keeks and Nobby going to try and defend with their backs to the wall. Nobby with no helmet though, so any little peek here could be very detrimental for his team's chances here as MBT just trying to hold on for dear life here and uh, currently on surrounded on all sides here as Keeg is, get, is getting pushed himself. He takes a lot of damage here as uh, the push starts coming in. The res was managed to be successful for Model Esports as they are starting to push Keeks down this side here. Now, looks like back, back Siri going to spray a number of shots here. Not able to connect enough. Keeks takes a lot of damage. Young Jang able to get him down. Now, Nobby is going to be the last player here. Uh, but the smoke not going to be able to help his teammate just yet. And uh, looks like on, elsewhere um, after yeah, we see MBT going out there as Earth to be able to get those shots in. But now Team AG intensifying their battle with Team Corti as uh, Team Corti forced to run out into the open here. Their compound is not inside the zone here. But right now uh, Dreams as well as uh, Trees are not inside the zone as well. But they probably have a safer route in here as they are put, just going to try and put as much pressure onto the two main team members of Team Gina and uh, from the squad QWERTY as they need to start moving across the road here. But uh, Nine Holy trying to hold the fort here. He is going to prime the nades here and try and get it out here. Uh, um, not able to reach Matrix at that range here. And he's able to see Dick Gina go all the way around the other side. Dick Gina is running for dear life here. But no, no connections coming just yet here. But now Dream Team is finally advancing onto this compound occupied by the feed and feed players. So Vine taking a few hits here. And uh, Brax also just trying to met up a little bit here. As the push is coming from three of the players here. Savior going all the way around the other side here. And he's going to have to be careful as he actually gets knocked down by Fettercross by squad number one here. Rax is going to be able to get the, the knock onto Sly DD. And now it looks like Dream Team is used down to two players here. So the score is uh, quite even here as Haktaki takes a lot of hits. Alan's trying to return fire here. But now Vine going to try and back up a little bit and offer some cover for any potential push that's coming here. The nade comes out. It is just a smoke here, but it's still going to be distracting for these team members. Now Model Esport looking to claim their second chicken dinner of the evening here as they are making their move now. They are just trying to uh, monitor the situation here as they see Nine Holy moving in here. Whiskey not able to connect with the uh, M24 here. Uh, but they are stuck in the smoke in the middle of nowhere, so the shots are going to just come out here until they finish off some of these Team AG players. Uh, now, they've spent a lot of time shooting at the, the players from uh, uh, Team QWERTY, squad number 16, and now they have to run the gauntlet as well, as uh, Nine Holy and uh, Dreams are going to be caught out a little bit here. Now, Dreams does, does manage to move in here, um, but it's really awkward. Team uh, Squad 1 here, uh, still at full strength here. But now it looks as though that we will be moving to the north here as the circle is in favor of the winners of this fight here. But it looks like uh, Team AG going to be two players down here, and Trees is going to have to do this alone here against the last two players of um, Team 14 here. As he spots... Uh, Bukis Jr., but Bukis Jr. gets the better shot with the SKS here. Now, we see Vine here coming down from the high ground, and Earthery finally um, aware of the, the threat coming in from this side. Rain Zera is still inside the zone for Red Sea here, and uh, he's really uh, prolonging their participation in this game here. But Brax out in the open here, but Earthery uh, not able to spot Vine right down there on the low ground and uh, now Vine will be the last player here for feed and feed he's gonna just try and hold this position as long as he can he's popping the energy drink but Young Jang is coming over the top here he doesn't see him and he gets pulled down uh, but oh not able to confirm the kill and that's gonna be it for feed and feed but now we see Dream Team deciding to move uh, further up north with the three players they have left they have 11 kills on the board here and looks like Alan is uh, Alan's is leading the way with four kills to his name so far so looking good for them now they they're trying to put pressure onto uh, squad number one. I think they killed one of the players here. But now squad number one here setting their sights on the, their rear as well as trying to advance on that warehouse compound that's currently occupied by QWERTY Gaming. Now uh, QWERTY only has the two players there alive and they are currently caught out a little bit. Bucky's Jr. especially by the wall there. So if he's not careful he could get uh, caught out by Fetacrofts. But oh sorry they still have four players left up. 
Didn't see the, the extra play there for a second there. But it looks as though one of the players goes down for 3T. And Reigns there making his presence felt here as he looks to try and uh, get some kills in the name of his dead teammates here. But Yong Jang going to move over. But he gets caught out by Reigns there as well as he tries to move in for the rest on the teammate here. But the blue zone is coming here. So this could be... Uh, very bad for model esports as they try and last longer into this game here. Now, um, Brains Era will try and prevent them from moving in, but the blue zone will be finishing its rotation in 51 seconds. Now, uh, finishing their rotation as well is uh, Dream Team here, but now we see that um, Squad 1 here under in a little bit of spot of bother here as Caxis goes down here as they try to force the issue onto the two members of Team Qwerty. But now, it looks as though that uh, Model Esports still looking good here, but Young Jang's still uh, looks as though that he's in Rain Zera's crosshairs here as he's putting more pressure onto them as they try to come inside. They just make it inside, but now Dream Team is going to start focusing on them. They are trying to use the Shack for cover here, and um, they don't have too much of a space to maneuver around, and they could get trapped here if they're not careful by the advancement for coming in. Uh, from this area of the zone, but now for now it looks like a standstill as uh, we will be seeing that um, the rest still is coming out for uh, John C. Nobody, but now the long range shots are coming out from Model Esports as a uh, oh, oh, they are all out of the open. Texas has a little bit of a shooting gallery here as they are all lying prone here. He also sees all the Dream Team guys, but they instantly shoot back at him. Dick Gina knocking himself out here and Rain Zara able to put some hurt on from range, so he is going to town on all these teams. Really being an absolute thorn in their sides here as he's trying to confirm the kill onto Caxis, but I think there's enough cover there to stop him. And uh, looks like uh, Fetacross facing problems here as he gets um, uh, AWM by uh, um, Bagstery Gassery. So he's advancing here, but he has to contend with the, the Dream dream team who are just to his left here. And uh, they are just going to try and focus on getting the team member up. Uh, Hi, Croxy and uh, Alice here moving in for the flank here. It could be devastating here if they don't spot it in time here. And uh, Alan's is going to move over the top here. He's going to get some good shots onto Batsuri. He comes over the top again here. Ethery goes down and looks like they are able to finish it. Just just two of them. But oh, sorry. Sly DD was on the high ground. He gets knocked. But looks like the rest should be forthcoming here. Rain Zara is still creeping on the edge of the zone here as he looks to move in. Now he does want to get a few more kills here to his name as uh, he starts to move in. But it looks as though that uh, Squad 1 and the. Uh, We'll be able to finish off the last player, Bucky's Jr., for uh, uh, from Kurti, uh, and uh, now Squad One will be moving inside the zone here. But now it looks like Rain Zera will be trying to see what he can do here. He has one kill and has dealt a lot of damage this game. But now it looks like oh, he's going to spot out Allen. He knocks him down, but he gets picked off by Caxis here. And um, the third party here will work in um, Dream Team's favor here. But effectively, it's now a two-on-two -two until they can get Allen's up here. But currently, they don't have a lot of vision here as John C. Nobody and Caxis are moving up over from the low ground as they try to move in. Now, we see that Sly DD and Haikaxi are uh, trying to get the vision here as Allens is getting off the heels. But the question is whether or not they're able to, to spot this flank coming out here from John C. Nobody. John C. Nobody um, going to work here, but Kaxi is able to get the knock first on Allens and confirms the kill. It's a two-on-two -two situation here. And Haikaxi here able to get enough damage here. But it looks like Kaxi is going to be all on his own here. Haikaxi doesn't have any health left. Um, and Sly DD will be able to get the headshot onto Caxis though. And uh, 17 kills for Dream Team as they get the last chicken dinner of the evening there. So congratulations to Dream Team for coming out with that as they were engaged in a number of firefights. And they were especially able to take out the team members from... Um, uh, model eSport in quick fashion there and uh, it looks as though they're able to really lead the, the kill charts as well. So Sly DD come, following up with 6 kills there. Savior getting 4 kills. And uh, now in 2nd position that was uh, squad number 1 here. So I think this is the highest placing that they got in tonight's games here as Caxis leads the way with the 4 kills. And um, in 3rd position Rain Zera able to stay alive right to the very end. I think um, the rest of the team members uh, did um, uh, die earlier, much earlier in the round, but he did manage to stay alive for as long as possible and he was still taking fights as well. So good play from him to get that 3rd placing in here. And um, 
in fourth place is Team QWERTY as they were occupying the northern side for quite a long time. They were under a lot of pressure from Team AG as well who were uh, trying to um, prevent them from moving inside the zone. But in the end, they got picked off and third partied by, um, I think it was uh, Model, Model Esport actually uh, in that fight. And then in fifth, this is Model Esport and they were looking strong with four men, but they got flanked big time by um, Dream Team there and they were able to wipe them out in one clean swoop. So yeah guys, that is the final result of the evening here. So yeah, you've watched uh, four rounds of the Battle Arena scrims guys and uh, thank you so much everyone for all the support. Thank you to for for all the stars received today. So uh, I think um, Han Wing, you gave three lots of 95 stars. You're amazing, man. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone who helped to uh, like and share the stream. Really do appreciate the, the help and thanks for the kind comments. Um, but yeah, guys, um, that's going to be it for me. You've been watching Play of the J. I'll be back on Thursday for the Scrim City games. So come and tune in for Play of the J then. Um, so for tonight, that's going to be it for me.